Okay, 36 year old dependent male. Uh-huh. He confronts it on a regular basis. Screen on the OQ45. Uh, airmen seek him out for help when they have hard times, but there are many airmen who suffer in silence. Suicide is one of those things that people are very, very ashamed of and uncomfortable sharing, so it does take quite a bit of trust and, 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 and quite a bit of rapport. For airmen working day to day in the office or on the flight line, helping prevent a suicide can be as simple as having a conversation with your wingman. Getting to know your individuals, the people that you work with, um, the, the people under you, getting to know what their interests are, what their habits are, where are they going this weekend, who are they hanging out with, getting involved in their life is really important. Uh, do you remember any, any impressions or... Uh... Getting to know your wingman is crucial, but airmen also need to know what resources are available to them. You've got people in airmen family readiness, you've got the chaplains, uh, we've got MFLAX, military family life consultants who are over in the, in the AFRC, and of course the mental health clinic. Um, any number of these people can and, and will help uh, people to be able to kind of inject a sense of meaning in their life. So tell me what brought you here today. Reporting from Spangdalem Air Base, I'm Staff Sergeant Jonathan Porter.